Yes. Only one camera today. We're going to open up the keto box, and Anthony has his hair down today. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Are you trying to go taller than me? No. Yeah. I, Just kind of chilling here. The camera is kind of angled weird, so I got a hunch over because... I dropped it somehow, like lowered it. Oh, so, wow. okay. This is the keto box. This is a monthly subscription box. It comes with like eight to 12 different types of snacks. And uh, we like this because we get to see different items that may be coming out or try things that we haven't tried without buying an entire case. Uh, there is a link down below and a coupon code that will help you save some money off your first box. This is Anthony. Anthony is our middle son. He opens his box with us every month. He's a non-keto person who is a foodie, and he likes to be brutally honest with all of his opinions. So if he likes it, you'll probably like it. If he doesn't like it, there's probably about a 25% chance that you won't like it. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, this is, this is the last. I can't do next month's box with you. We're going to have to have Caleb do next month's box because next month, I'm not allowed to eat anything mm. out of the box because Dang. we'll be doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I asked Anthony to join us. He said only for $5,000. Yeah, no, that's, it's too long of a thing. Well, that was for 90 You said yeah, you'd no, do $5,000. I'll do it. I'll do it for 25 hard, days? No. We're doing it for 25 no, days. I'm good. No? Okay. So the way we do this is Anthony decides what we're going to eat first. We're going to go over, we're going to taste it. We're going to go over all the ingredients, nutrition, and also let you know how much it costs. Number one thing we got. California Keto Cookies. Okay. Butter Cookie Baking Mix. Okay. So, uh, so you need to add five tablespoons of softened butter, mm -hmm. a fresh egg, and a bag of this cookie mix. Um, the ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, vanilla powder, baking powder, xanthan gum, salt, and monk fruit extract. So very, very simple ingredients. Yes. Uh, okay. Just so go by that as, as prepared. So there's 12 servings in this container. So there's a serving size is one is one is one cookie. Okay, so okay. there's twelve so you can make twelve cookies. I did not manage to make twelve cookies. Okay. Uh, so as prepared, each cookie is 110 calories, uh, 11 grams of fat, seven grams of total carb, one gram of dietary fiber, uh, one gram of sugar. But I know in here the, the erythritol makes it so that there's only one gram of there's only one net carb in the whole thing. Okay. I don't see where it says. Sugar alcohol. No, five grams. Five grams. Okay. So. Are we going to try this? So, so this, so I made the cookie. This is a normal size cookie to me. Okay. This, and how many of those did you I make? was able to get around seven. Okay. So that means that basically this one cookie is two servings almost. Oh, pretty much. Okay. It smells like a good sugar cookie. It's very cakey. It's like spongy cakey, isn't it? Ooh. That's not a cookie. Oh, Anthony. No. No. That's not a cookie. It's not a cookie. That's it's like, terrible. It's like a cake. That no. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say it's terrible. That's terrible. You know what it tastes like? An a way undercooked sugar cookie. But you can tell if you cook this anymore. I was burning it. I, was I forgot burn. it. I and forgot about it because it only took yeah. 10 minutes. I mean, I honestly, like seriously, like look at this. It, you can smush it. No. I, I know and, what and a, now you got like that. I know what a good cookie tastes like. Yeah. That is not a good cookie. That is a terrible cookie. Okay. Now I got to find a napkin. Can you give me a paper towel there? It's underneath the light card. Okay. Uh, price on that not I, worth it. <laughs> $9.49 for the bag. Mm -mm, no okay. 
What do I get? I don't know. I'm looking. You like these. Fat snacks. Mini cookies, double chocolate. Okay, so there is two servings in this container. Serving size is seven cookies, 170 calories per serving. Um, we've got 15 grams of fat, four grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, six grams of sugar alcohol, making it two net carbs. The ingredients are almond flour, and then we have the fat snacks, healthy fat blend, which is butter, cream, sustainable organic palm fruit oil, natural almond butter, coconut oil, non-GMO erythritol, co uh, chocolate chips, which are chocolate liqueur and soluble fiber, erythritol, sunflower, lecithin, stevia, and natural flavor. Then we have inulin, natural vanilla flavor, water, eggs, dried eggs, high fat Dutch cocoa, uh, dark chocolate, sea salt, natural chocolate flavor, xanthan gum, acacia gum, coffee, rosemary, stevia, and monk fruit extract. A long list of stuff. But it's all good ingredients. It's interesting they have coffee in here. So if you can't drink coffee for one reason or another, you don't want to eat these cookies. Have you had these? Um, it's been a minute. They're pretty good. These are good. Better than I remember. Price on these are 375 375 a bag. You can buy it in Whole Foods. You can buy them in boxes and sprouts. I've seen them in a lot of different places. Okay, this looks interesting. Okay, we've had those before. No. Oh, maybe it's been the keto crate. Piz Pizzoots, mm. premium Virginia artesian peanuts. Yep. Sea salt and cracked peppers. So, I don't know. This dude seems weird. Invented by a ma by the mad scientist Dr. Alfred Pizzout, boy genius, aerospace engineer, and peanut pioneer. Pizzout peanuts are infused with natural flavors and zero auto artificial ingredients. So brilliant, it took a rocket science to come up with them. I feel like a lot of peanuts are the same that they are advertised. Okay, well, okay, I'm going to tell you something. Well, go ahead and read the rest of the stuff. Okay, I won't knock on it too hard because they do donate a lot of their money to the Multiple Sclerosis Society. So... Let's see. Um, ingredient, peanuts, sea salt, ground black pepper, and water. Nutrition facts. Uh, it is 1.45 servings per container. I don't Which, know. Are you this serious? That's are you serious? It's, okay, it's either whatever. one or two servings. Amount per ser amount of calories per serving or just amount. Calories, 140, 11 grams of fat, uh, 5 grams of total carb, 2 grams of dietary fiber, 0.5 grams of total sugar. So making it three net carbs. Okay. So before you try these, we we've had several flavors of these. At least mom and I have. True. And and what's interesting is somehow this guy has figured out how to get the flavor all the way through the inside of a peanut. I, I feel like I can't be that. Like bad. you no normally like it would be salted with the flavor right, but you're gonna get the flavor all the way through the peanut. It's the weirdest thing ever. Like how did he accomplish that? Huh. Am I wrong? No. The entire peanut, and this is just black pepper. This is sea but salt and black. But there's some like interesting flavors like rosemary, and you get rosemary through every bite of the peanut, not just the outside. These are really good. So even if you suck all the black pepper and salt off the outside, you still get it when you bite into it. That's crazy. He really is a mad scientist boy genius. Wow. Uh, price on those, I believe I found them on Amazon. And it's eight dollars and twenty five cents <throat> for a sixteen ounce bag. That's a one and like two ounce bag or three ounce bag. One one point four okay. five. So this is a serving. Okay. No, what is this? A serving and a half. Oh, it's a serving and a half. It's one point forty five. Oh, a serving size is one ounce. <laughs> so yeah, so for a sixteen ounce bag, it's eight twenty five. So that's not that bad. Um, we did open up the box just to be able to pull the prices because they don't give you the prices. This this box is nut heavy. Yeah, it is. Legendary Foods Tangy Ranch flavored almonds, no sugar added. Ingredients are almonds contain less than 2% of spice, garlic powder, onion powder, buttermilk powder, tomato powder, dehydrated 
uh, red bell pepper, erythritol, salt, soluble corn fiber, whey powder, which is milk, hyolic sunflower oil, it, uh, yeast extract, palm oil, annatto for color, turmeric for color, stevia, natural flavor. Oh, um, there is 200 calories in a serving. The serving is a bag. That's better. Like the serving is the whole bag, right? 18 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, there's a ranch flavor. Tangy ranch. Now, it good? Kind of tastes like pizza flavor. You're right. Tastes, tastes like pizza. They're good though. It is good, but it tastes like pizza. $2.33 a serving. Okay, these look good. Walnuts, Hawaiian barbecue. Ooh. Again, a lot of nuts. Um, let's see, where are the ingredients? There they are. Uh, ingredients, walnuts, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, which has tomatoes and citric acid, pineapple juice concentrate, paprika, liquid smoke, which is water and natural hickory smoke, sea salt, onion powder, garlic, and cayenne pepper. Contains walnuts, go figure. Uh, one serving per container, and a serving size is 1.25 ounces, 230 calories per serving, 21 grams of fat, 8 grams of total carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 3 total sugars. So that means it's 5 net carbs. But it does... Do you know walnuts are Chris Bear's favorite nut? I think everybody I should... I that is. Oh, oh that's Chris. Out. I didn't know his last name. Everybody should send Chris, like, walnuts for Christmas. We have to hold on for one second because the timer is ringing. Alexa, stop. Okay. I totally ate it too quick and I had to spit it out before. Can I have some? <laughs> did you spit it out because it was no good? Or did no, you spit because it out? I didn't want to taste I said, it wait. without you. you said, okay, wait. ready? Okay. It, it does taste like barbecue. So like the second I put it in my mouth and I bite, I taste like Hawaiian barbecue, like from Buffalo Wild Wings, like the barbecue sauce. But then like all of a sudden it goes away. It does go away. And what makes it Hawaiian? I think Hawaiian barbecue, I think about barbecue with pineapple. There's pineapple in here. I don't taste it. I don't taste it I just it taste barbecue. And then it like goes I away. I feel like I've had better nuts from Crazy Go Nuts. Yeah. Better flavors anyway. Uh, $2 a package. Oh, you're giving me something good. Snack House Puffs. Chocolate flavor. It's always time for chocolate. We ha we've actually had some of these cereals before, and they were pretty good. We had like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. Um, okay. Ingredients. Milk protein isolate, cocoa, palm kernel oil, which is palm kernel oil and soy lecithin. Sugar. Allulose, cocoa solids, whey protein concentrate, non-fat milk, sunflower less than vanilla, stevia, and salt. Uh, a serving size is one package, 123 calories per serving, 5 grams of fat. Uh, then we've got 15 grams of protein, 5 total carbohydrates, 3 grams of sugar. Why? Like added sugars. Why? And then 2 grams of allulose. You're putting allulose in here. Why are you adding sugar? It's not even like sugar that's naturally occurring in something. It's added sugar. There's no need for that. There's just no need for that. You could have had this down to just like two grams of allulose. Maybe put in a little bit of stevia. I mean, they do have stevia. That's even worse. So you have stevia, allulose, and sugar as, a, as an added sugar. That's just nonsense. That's nonsense. I mean, we still got to try it, but the other flavors weren't like that. He's going to love this because it's got sugar in it. No, I won't. Where's the sugar? Where is it? Dang, look. Sugar is so hard to find. I put a guy with a monocle on the front so that he could look for it. What does that say? 
I don't know. It's always time for chocolate down there. It's not even as good as the other flavors. The other flavors were so much better. Well, that, that's disappointing. I was looking forward to like Cocoa Puffs. Uh, they look like it, really. Um, price on those are two dollars and fifteen cents a serving. And I that's saw a this, serving. and I was like, "Whoa, they have a like bubble wrap in this thing." And I was like, "Why?" And it's peanut butter. Yeah. Now I did look on their website for the price of this, and this is peanut flavor. Just like peanut butter, but they also have cashew butter and, and other ones. Georgia Grinders Creamy Peanut Butter. Slow roasted. I know to need it, though. Yeah, you learned that the hard way. Yeah. All right. So, serving size. Two tablespoons. Uh, there's three servings in this container. Amount per serving, 160 calories. 120, oh, wait. 120 fat calories. Okay. 14 grams of fat. Uh, six grams of total carb, two grams of fiber, one gram of sugar. That is it. So the ingredients are peanuts, sea salt, and sea salt. Contains peanuts. Wow. Okay. So no added oil. Now knead it really well I until am. it's because the last time Anthony opened up a nut butter without kneading it, he got all oil on the top. He's like, "This is disgusting." I'm like, "You're supposed to knead it." I saw this, and it reminded the package, and it reminded. It looks like a baby food container. Well, Okay, not that. There's like an apple sauce. That like, yeah. Well, it's not baby food, though. Okay. I'll eat it. I don't care. If apple if apple sauce is good, I'll eat it. I don't care. I don't care if it comes in a baby pouch. But it but this is where I thought saw it. It looks I, just like it. I like the top that you can put on and off and not eat the whole thing. Because that's always the problem with these nut butters and pouches. You eat the entire thing. Yeah. Holy crap. You get a little harder, why don't you? Okay. Just squirt some in your mouth. Heck? It's designed to put it in your mouth. No, it's not. It is. You do this. Ugh. There's a little too much salt. I don't like it. I like it. It's pure peanut. Because you're used to sugar peanut no, butter. I'm not used to salty peanut butter. It Who, is who's used to salty peanut butter? I am. I love That's salt. That's weird. I don't think it has enough salt. I'm going to get a jar of peanut butter from my room right now. Okay, so I think it's good. It's pure peanuts, though. It is pure peanuts with a bunch of salt in it. There Come is on. definitely a lot of salt. Like, I can feel salt crystals on my tongue, but I like salt. Anthony likes salt, but he's not keto, so everything is too salty for him. Um, but there's no sugar at all, no oil. It's, it's not oily like a lot of the natural peanut butters. So the price on that, if you buy a 12 ounce jar, is $5.75, which is definitely not that bad. And they have other kinds as well. Should I take that away from you? No. Okay. Field Trip Crispy Cuts Pork Rinds. Parmesan peppercorn. We've had these before. <laughs> You're like two. Ingredients. Fried pork skins, grated Parmesan cheese, which is pasteurized part skim milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes, spices, including peppercorns, salt, dehydrated garlic. There is two servings in this container. No, there is not. Are you done? No. Okay. There's still more left in here. 80 calories per serving, 6 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, 1 total carbohydrate. Now I'm done. You're done. Okay. I've had these before. Yeah, we've both had these before. They're, yeah. They're really clean ingredients, but they have no taste. Wow. There's like no flavor. Yeah. They need salt. They do. Okay. What would their salt right there? Oh, it's not. That salt container's not open. Okay. Price. Shout out to Redmond Real Salt. Is that you love Redmond Real Salt? I am. Uh, price on the crispy cuts is two dollars and sixteen cents a bag. Buff bake, it's a weird name. Fuel bar plus MCT. Uh, plant based. All right. Cinnamon crunch. Um, let's see. Where is it? I just saw. It. Oh. So ingredients: nuts, which is with the uh, nuts are almonds and cashews. Prebiotic fiber, fiber syrup. Pea protein, pea protein crisps, 
natural flavors, glycerin, MCT powder, cinnamon, sea salt, and monk fruit extract. The serving size is one bar. I feel bar. like this is going to be high in fiber. One bar, 220 calories, 14 grams of fat, 17 grams, 17 total carb, and 13 grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar. So that means it's four total carbs. Or net carbs, rather. They're playing the fiber game. I would not deduct any of that fiber. It's the second ingredient. They're using that as the sweetener. And then they're using glycerin. Oh my gosh, it's like a weird texture. No. It tastes like maple syrup, not like cinnamon toast crunch. No. So this is what it tastes like. I think it's good. It's not that bad, but, or it's not that good, but. Tastes just like a, like oatmeal. It does, that's what it tastes like. It's oatmeal. It's just brown sugar oatmeal. That's all it is. Well, that's not cinnamon toast. No, but I do like oatmeal kind of, so. Okay. Well, the price on these is $2.50 a bar. I would never pay that though. <laughs> all right. Oh, here we go. Smart cakes. We love smart cakes. There's a coupon down below. Ingredients: eggs, purified water, proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax, erythritol, whey protein isolate, olive oil, pure lemon extract, pure lime extract, pure vanilla, salt, cellulose gum, stevia extract, citric acid, vitamin C, spices, and herbs. This is lemon flavor. There's two cakes in here. Each cake is a serving. So we're gonna go by and eat the entire container because I'm eating the entire container. Anthony's gonna eat the entire container. 76 calories per container, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, 18 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber, <clears throat> and then eight grams of sugar alcohol, which makes it zero net carbs. <clears throat> These are, ooh, they changed the packaging. These are why we started doing Total Carb because we love these things. But what would happen is, it's why I say, I can easily manipulate 200 Total Carbs into zero net carbs. This is how. Completely honest, this does not smell like lemon. This smells like lemon cleaner. And lemon cleaner. So I guess the boxes, because they used to get smushed. Oh. But why is it like they never used different? They never used to stick like this. Like I never used to have that before. Where's the lemon? Did you just like think really hard about it and then put it in? This is not as good as it used to be. No, it's also dry. Well, they were always slightly dry. But like, I remember, like I remember, like it is something is flavor. different. Yeah, they used to like be. I remember hot. like having too much flavor. And like, I didn't like it because of how strong it was. Something is different with these. I don't have an old package though. It's not as good as it used to be. I mean, we love smart things, but. Is that it? Over the price. Oh, $3.75 a package. All we right. do have a coupon code for them though. Vermont. Un smoked uncured pepperoni pork stick. pork stick. So, ingredients. Pork, sea salt, less than 2% of the following. Sugar, celery powder, spices, paprika, cherry powder, spice extractative, extractatives, what? Garlic powder, lactic acid, starter culture, not from milk, and cat encased in colored beta carotene caramel beef collagen casing. Serving is one stick, 90 calories for the stick, six grams of fat, three grams of total carbs, and no sugar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I tear this one. Whoa. That is flavor as soon as it hits your tongue. Yeah. Mm. What is this flavor? Pepperoni. Smoked uncured yeah, pepperoni. Yeah, this is good. It is good. 
Yeah. I mean, you can just suck on the outside and taste pepperoni. Yeah, I'll be nice and give you a bigger piece. Is that because you don't like it or because no. you really want to be nice? I'll be nice. That is good. I could down this. That may be one of the best meat sticks we've had in a box. There was still that one that we never got. It is really good. Don't I'm not saying it's not good, but I remember there was one, and it was like insanely good. It was a while ago. Mm. We never got it. Dollar seventy five a stick. These are really really good. That's gonna be everything in the box. Let us know down in the comment section if you tried anything in this box. Let us know if next month Anthony should open the box. We'll have Anthony on one side, Caleb on the other side, and I'll just sit in the middle and watch them eat it. What do you think? Could possibly do that. Let us know if we should do that down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head that way or you head this way, don't forget to hit this way. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Until next time, bye. bye.